I want to take a minute to explain how the odd man out review works because it's a little bit different than what we have done in the past. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to record everything you can about the function in each section. So like the first color that you're going to write down is red. Okay. And you're going to look at this red grid and for A, B, C, and D, you are going to write down everything you can tell me about that linear situation, about that linear situation, about that linear situation, about that linear situation, okay? That is stage one. And I've got some suggestions here. Slope, y-intercept, what the graph looks like. You're gonna do that for every single card. Then you're gonna pick different options for which one seems like the worst match with the rest of your group. So you're gonna pick, I don't know, maybe you think A is the worst match and you're gonna justify why you think a is not like the others. Then you're gonna go back and pick a different one that, that you think is an odd man out for a different reason. And you are gonna justify what is it about that scenario in the red group that makes it odd, that makes it different, that makes it not match. So to kind of explain, I've got a non-mathematical example, okay? Let's say these are our four cards, these four cartoon pictures, okay? The first thing I'm gonna do is list everything I can come up with about the dogs and cats. So like I might look at situation A and say, okay, oh well, it's a dog, it's sitting at, down, it's a cartoon, it's facing to the right, it's got its tongue out, it's got a collar around its neck. Okay, I'm just looking at this picture and listing everything I can about it, okay? Not mathematical, obviously, because it's a picture of a dog. You will do a mathematical. So you will look at card A, and you're going to look at that equation and tell me everything you can tell me about that equation, okay? And again, I gave you suggestions for things you might want to write down. You're going to do that for every single section, okay? So if you see, I know it's small, but I mean, I went through every single card and just wrote everything I could think of about that particular picture, okay? Then I found odd man out number one. So the first one is probably gonna be the obvious one, right? So looking at these four pictures and looking at what I wrote about them, I said, you know what? The odd man out is clearly the cat. It's the only cat. So my odd man out number one is letter D. He is the odd man out because it is the only cat, okay? But then I want you to go back a second time and figure out a different odd man out. So you're gonna look at these four pictures and I'm gonna look at my descriptions and I'm gonna figure out what is something else that I could say is different. There are a lot of options. There is not just one answer here, guys. So the second time I said, I think C is the odd man out because I noticed he was the only one that was standing up. So to me, when I looked at it, I thought, okay, she's weird because she's a cat, but he's different than all of those guys because he's the only one standing up, okay? Um, in the past, I've had kids say, well, I think it's D, not because she's a cat, but because she's the only one that's not wearing anything. It's got a collar, a bandana, some clothes. She's just a plain old cat, okay? Sometimes people say, well, I think that it's A because he doesn't have any kind of markings. He's just straight brown or gray or whatever he is, right? He doesn't have spots. He doesn't have the little socks on his feet markings and face markings. Doesn't have stripes to the cat. There is a lot of different explanations. There is not just one answer, okay? You, the idea is really look at those four scenarios, which for you guys will be graphs and linear situations and figure out why do you think it's the odd man out, okay? Again, using math stuff, not uh, it's the only graph. Guys, that's not getting a good review for your test, okay? When you're looking for the odd man out, think of a mathematical reason that that is different. Not just, oh, it's the only equation, okay? Think slopes, y-intercepts, how the graph actually appears, things like that, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. If you happen to finish this, you get through all five colors um, and you're in really good shape, you, you finish it, you feel good, the next thing you can do is access that quizzes review that you uh, should have started yesterday. Um, here's kind of a summary of everything that's going to be on that test on Friday. So make sure that you know how to do these things so you do really well on it. All right. Okay. Good luck. The quizzes will be re will be available um, 
all day, all evening, like, so you can review and do well on this test, okay? All right, good luck.